This is Castaways, an SMP where nine YouTubers together survive over a thousand days stranded on islands. We washed ashore with our ship and we can't craft boats or leave, so we're stuck here. Watch us transform this place from deserted islands to a paradise with everything we need. And stick around to see if we ever make it out. Let's get into it. Before splitting up, we found this random shy tortoise right next to our campsite. He's, he's shy. Everybody crouch. He's shy. Everybody he's shy. shy. Crouch. Everyone shift. Yeah. His tortoise come out. Oh, 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 look at him. He's doing like a little dance. Oh, he can dance with us. He's dancing. Hi, Frog. No, I have to look like, really cute. make sure this other stuff. You look on. really cute. Thank you. You all smell. Just kidding. You all stink. <laughs> I'm going over here. Okay, we're all splitting up and I want to start by wandering over here and just seeing what we can find. Starting with wood, which of course we need to make tools. Oh, what's this tree? It looks pink or purple. Mahogany planks. Oh my gosh, I love it. I need it. Since this was the only mahogany tree I could see, I decided I needed to get it right now and hoard the saplings. Not only do I want to build with it, but it might come in handy to trade. Unfortunately, it was getting dark and nobody had a bed yet, because we didn't want to kill any sheep in case there were no more on the islands. So I kept chopping the tree into the night, and when it was done, I decided to run back to the campsite to find safety. And then I heard voices. Oh, I hear people. Madison? Hello? Hello? Hi? Where are you? Oh, they... Wait, wait. Oh, hey! Hi. Hi! Um, I'm about to die. Oh, don't yeah, die. We've been getting attacked by uh, spiders and creepers. Oh, no. Zombies. Yeah, we're about to die, it's so it's, it's been a good time. Um, I have. Yeah. Here you go. Oops, oh. it fell in the hole. <laughs> it's, oh. it's fine. Did someone is make a, a house? Is that a hut? Oh. I don't know what that is. Interesting. A little safety hut. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, it's sunrise. Finally. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. Got to look out. Oh. <laughs> I hear oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. A common hat grab bag. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Wait, was that from the oh, creeper? You You've got a chef's hat. <gasps> Wait, the creepers drop things like that? That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. So after learning that mobs drop fun accessories, we decided to explore more modded features. Oh, it matches <gasps> your outfit what too. Is oh my that? gosh. Yeah, I it love does. that so much. And we also came across Sev and Drift, who we pushed in a hole. Me. No, you pushed me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Infinite fail. We've been having so much fun together, but as you can see, I've started to settle in this little area. So while we are stuck on these islands, I will have a home. I believe red is just over there where that birch forest is, but I think this island is going to be perfect for me. Um, hello, who are you? Why do you have particles coming off you, sir? Okay, modded is dangerous, so I'm just going to not touch him, but as you can see, this is our little island. Hold on, let me go into free cam so I can show you. So we've got this as our main island and also this little island here. I'm loving this biome though, it's so cute, and I'm pretty sure we even have, yes, wild onions. Oh, we'll have to plant some more of these. Pretty much the only thing I've done so far is that I went around and kind of started collecting all the different crops. So once we add onions, I feel like we have everything. At least everything we can get off these island clusters. We've got all of the normal crops, but also we have cabbages. I'm not sure. Are these ready? Oh, they are. We got our first cabbage. Look at that thing. Can we just eat it? Uh, we can, but it doesn't help our hunger a lot. We also have ooh, our first tomato. Then we also got some rice. I'm just not sure how to plant it. Oh my gosh, in this pool floaty, look at this. <gasps> so cute, it's an axolotl. I don't think it has an actual function, but we look adorable. And oh, it is becoming sunset. Next, what I think I'd like to do is stay up a little bit tonight. Since Madison discovered that mobs like creepers can drop accessories, I really wanna get some. So we'll come into safe light zone. Oh my gosh, there's a firefly. <gasps> look at it. But we will wait for some hostile mobs to spawn and hopefully we can get cool stuff off them. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a creeper. I would rather just go for skellies and zombies. But we can do this. Please drop something cool. No! He dropped something! <laughs> okay, this is not the cute head I was wanting.
Okay, our haul includes one common hat bag and three rare ones. Oh, and an uncommon one. Okay, we've got propeller, dragon head, baby bottle head, sonic head, and oh, floating hearts. I want that. Look, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Uh, and the dragon head in my hand. Okay, next, I think we really need to start grinding, so I'm gonna make a fishing rod and go fishing. That way we'll have a good supply of food, and then we're gonna go strip mining for iron. Then after mining a bunch of iron and gold, I came back up and realized I have a new neighbor on the island next to me. Brooke? Hello. Are we, are we neighbors? Are you here? Are you gonna be living over there? Yeah, I'm right there. Honestly, I really like this area. I kind of, I kind of landed here because I was really scared and this was the first place I went, but it's pretty cool. I see you have cows. I have sugar cane. I wonder if I should start together getting some books together for enchanting. I know it's kind of early, but... I think that's a great idea. Oh my gosh, yes. I can okay. take care of these. Yeah, you take care of I'll the sugar, the sugar cane, cane and we'll cane. just combine it. Yes, okay, teamwork. Maybe we could also make it like a little communal area for people. Yeah, or even better, we could charge people to use it. You know what? I like that idea. I mean, like, you all just like push me off a cliff. So like, I don't know where anybody's loyalty lies. So at the end of the day, I don't mind charging people for stuff. I'll show you what I have as well. If you need some saplings for this. What is that? It's mahogany. Oh, I'm going to need some of that. Okay. Okay. We're, we're banding together. Friendly neighborhood discount, right? Yeah. Friendly neighborhood discount. Okay, so it looks like this is definitely shaping up to be a very trading-based SMP. And it's good to know Drift and I have a neighborly discount. So now we have our mission to keep growing our sugar cane and get an enchanting setup going. But first, the main thing I want to focus on now is building ourselves a house. I'm pretty sure Sev is the only person with spruce, so we need to go see her. It turned out the only spruce trees around are not vanilla, they're these ones with orange leaves. But that'll definitely do us, so I traded some of my mahogany saplings for some of those. Then I planted some on my island and got chopping spruce. We also need a little bit of oak wood and I've been waiting until I have shears to take these trees down. They have oak wood, but I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I want these pretty leaves with the flowers and the fruit. And then if we just kind of leave the rest of the leaves, then maybe they'll break and show us what type of tree this is. Oh, we got a sapling. It is a orchid sapling. And okay, I think the final wood I'd like to use for my build is palm wood. We don't have a palm tree on this island, but I claimed this little one as well. And I think this has one. Oh yes, there is one over here. Oh, and look at the sand. There's like blue and purple. I wanna find a use for this. Okay, but this is what we're here for. Oh my gosh, do you see those? Give me a coconut. Throw against a solid block to open. Okay, that did not do it. <gasps> it did it. Oh my gosh, it's an open coconut. I think you can make drinks out of this. This is so cute. Okay, let's get the tree. Next, for the walls of our building, I wanna use calcite and I found one geode, but we also did a little trade with sparkle egg. So we have three stacks of calcite and I gave her some mahogany. So this is everything we have for our house so far. I think we'll build over here, so I'm just gonna flatten the land a little bit more and we'll chop a couple more trees and then we'll be ready to build. Okay, look at this, I'm so ready to build. These are two modded workbenches. I've actually forgotten why I wanted this one, but it's called a botanist's workbench, so I guess it'll be cute flower things. And then this one, this one is gonna be so useful. And I crafted it because I saw Amber made these adorable dark oak doors and I want them. Oh my gosh, it was so easy too. We just put the door in and it worked. Look at this, this is so cute. And then another thing that I think I'll really want is this. 
so it takes your regular logs and puts flowers on them. Okay, but let's start with some regular old dark oak logs. I think what we're gonna do is actually build mostly over the water here. So that means our house is gonna be sitting on a little platform. So we'll have kind of little pillar thingies and then And then we want a bunch of these modded logs and we'll turn them into planks and we'll make a little staircase and we have the start of the front of a little balcony we're just gonna fill it in with these Okay, I feel like this is not that cute yet, but it's definitely a trust the process kind of moment. I've laid out some of the foundations for the house and don't mind the hole. I'm just not sure if I want the floor inside the house to actually be made out of this yet. So we'll leave it until we've figured that out. But what I kind of wanted to add next around some of the edges is I figured out what this botany table is for, or at least one of its functions. If we put leaves in here, it gives us all these different options. So I've been making these magenta leaves and also these red ones and I think that it'll be good to use some of them to break up the fence. I believe they actually operate differently from vanilla leaves. Yes they do, the fence attaches to them. Oh that is so good, I love that. And from here I think we'll start building the actual house. So our colour palette is going to be this. Calcite with spruce around the edges and we'll also add some of this. Very cute. And then the roof and some of the trim will be this. I'm excited, this is gonna be so pretty. So let's outline this house and start building. We did it! We built a lovely little cottage quarry beach house. It was so much fun playing with the mods, I ended up making all of these modded glass panels using this adorable glass blower's workbench. I'll show you the side of the house as well. It looks like Drift has been doing some building over here, so I wanted to make sure that from her angle the side wasn't too ugly, but I think it's looking pretty. I also could not resist using a little bit of this light blue Skyra sword that I found on day one. It matches my outfit, I'm gonna have to go get some more off red. And then this is it inside, oh it looks like we have a leak. And we've got this beautiful view out to the ocean. There's so much cute interior stuff that we can explore that I think I'll leave most of that for the next episode. Although I would like to get a little bit more going on this balcony. I made it this little deck chair over here, isn't it adorable? But I don't have any more wool and I don't have all for carpets either so we're kind of stuck with just this texture. But in future we'll definitely add some carpets or beach tiles or something. And then I also got my first wandering trader. He gave us witch hazel saplings. I don't think we have access to these anywhere, so I'm excited to see what they look like. I think they get planted together like this. But let's, can we pick these up? Yes. I want to bring these over and maybe they can even go on the balcony. Oh, that's cute. And then we could just use some little stairs as chairs. Okay, I think this will have to do until we get more stuff. I love this so it's so cute. But I think that'll be all for our first video on Castaways, so leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to Castaways, where nine girls have been shipwrecked and are stuck on a cluster of islands. This is my island and my house. Our house is looking quite nice from the outside, but there's not a lot going on inside. If we come in the front door here, we have all of our necessary workbenches. And over here, I've started setting up some storage, and then upstairs, we have our bed. And this, I have yet to try this out. It's some kind of loom, but I want to try and get into some modded decorating in here. And I think a lot of the furniture, Drift show me this, requires this. Wait, it's not doing anything. <gasps> I did it! Spruce board. And then I think from here we might be able to make some furniture. Oh, cute! Oh my gosh, what are we going to do with these? Okay, let's have a look at what else we can do. Maybe if we just... Oh, that makes 
wood plates. That makes, oh, a dining bench. Wait, these don't look like tables. These look like something you'd sit on. Okay, what about all these cute bookshelves? Okay, we need to use this. Oh, there's so many options. Let's have this here. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna start making some more mudded stuff and decorate this house. Oh, these are so good. I found a few more fun things we can do and add, but we need to collect some stuff for them. We have a plushies mod and I can't make most of them, but I should be able to make an arctic fox. We need white wool and black wool and we have the white wool, we just need black dye. So I am looking for a squid for squid ink. Have you guys seen any squids? Oh, we're drowning. They're all hiding from me. It's like they know. Oh, there we go. I guess the black wool is kind of like the eyes. Little fox plushie. Where do we put you? Oh, I'm in love. Look at it. I want to face it this way. Another thing I found, I don't know if this will be helpful for interiors, but there's a lot we can do with pumpkins. And we have some here. I think maybe it uses this. I don't know if we need to. Oh, different colors. Wait, we can get a pumpkin. <laughs> Rose can, absolutely. And then I think we can also, can we go like this? Oh, okay, that turned normal. Oh, but we can get all these different faces. A tiny, smug pumpkin. Oh, this is so wholesome. He's basically like Wilson from that Castaway movie, but a pumpkin. Let's have him inside. And then another thing I figured out is look at all of these. These are also not very helpful for inside. But maybe we can make like little bridges with them. Oh, if we could get any more of these, this would be so good. But I don't really know how to get them. I got the ones I have from fishing. Okay, lastly, I'm going to get some clay for terracotta and attempt to finish off this house. I know that clay can make cutlery, like cups and stuff. Okay, I think at this point we've got enough stuff going on with the interior and I'm going to leave it alone. So this is our kind of very practical workbench area. And also, no, I did not kill a dolphin. I promise, I found it. Over here we have storage and we do have invisible item frames on the server. So I've been making use of those and I love these cushions. They are this. They're so cute. Then if we go on upstairs, of course, we've got our little bedroom. These things here are hat stands. We've got a bunch of modded hats. So I put two of my favorites on here. It's got little particles. It's a little bit like a spore blossom. And then I haven't actually tried this one before. Oh my gosh, this is actually adorable. But next up, we need to go see Drift actually. She's living just over there because I think we're gonna combine forces to make an enchanting setup. I have all the paper, she has all the leather. Drift, are you home? Brooke, I've been expecting you. What do you want? Um, okay, Um, I have, look, I have paper. Like lots of it. <gasps> A lot you of got it. the paper! Oh my yeah, gosh! Yeah, I was just yeah. kidding, by the way. I was just trying to be mean, just for just for the jokes. But oh, it's okay. It's okay. I was a bit scared, but it's fine. Okay, wait. Come, come over here. Come over here. Where's the leather? Are you taking me into the woods to like kill me? No! What the heck? No! This is just my little hidey hole. Okay. Well, you've been killing other things in here. Listen, listen. <laughs> don't so don't weird. even concern yourself with this wall. This is none of your business. Okay. Ow, stop. I'm building a storage unit. Ow. <laughs> stop hitting me with coconuts. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Check this out. I've got all of this leather. I've got tons and tons of wood. Oh, me too. I have heaps. Shall I give you the paper and you can make all the bookshelves? Oh, and here's dark oak. Okay, I basically had everything in my inventory. I should have just done it. <gasps> Yeah, you could have done it, but that's okay. It's pretty nice in here. Your house looks nice. This looks like a hole. I think we're ready. Yeah, so where are we gonna build this thing? I reckon we build it near us, but also somewhere communal so that we can charge people to use it. So over on the islands over this way? Yeah, I think so. Like somewhere near the campsite. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Then we made a quick trip back to Drifts to grab some lapis and some other stuff. 
You weren't wearing that the whole time, were you? No. Okay. Yeah, we're becoming like business people, so I gotta look a little bit professional. Is it too much? Um, it's about as much as it could possibly get. Okay, so you're saying the hat is wearing me. I'm not wearing the hat. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we added some signs so that people pay donations before using the setup. Trying, of course, not to make it sound too threatening. That does sound threatening. Oh, it does? Yeah. Uh, do you want to try? Yeah, 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 sure. How's that? That's not threatening, right? It sounds like like you're really pleading, you know? You gotta you gotta be a little bit more aggressive than okay, that. Okay, do you, you know? wanna try try an in-between? Okay, let's try one more. If there's junk in this bin, you get pushed into the ravine. Okay, that is the sign we're going with for now. It is kind of threatening, but also I kind of want to push someone into the ravine. Is that so bad? So Drift and I have split up briefly, but we'll come back together and decorate this properly. I'm thinking maybe we make a gazebo, but we'll see. But in the meantime, now that we have an enchanting set up, I kind of want to gear up. We are on level 27, and by the time we go mining, I'm sure we could do some enchanting. Let's have a look. We've got three diamonds already, and one sad iron pickaxe. Maybe we make a diamond pick. I feel like that would be a good idea. And then we can take it mining. Let's see if it'll give us anything good. <gasps> I'm breaking. Please give us efficiency. Ah, oh, just I'm breaking. Okay, at least it'll keep us going for a while. So next, let's go down our strip mine and get some diamonds. After I'd already mined eight diamonds, I found this block of eight. And I decided to leave it, go back up, and see if I could get fortune. So I made a second pickaxe, and my first attempt was not successful. But then my second attempt got fortune too. So I headed back down, and the eight diamonds ended up giving me 15. Which is not bad, definitely worth it. And after all of that, we're mostly geared up with our tools now. We've got the axe, pick, sword, and shovel. And 18 more diamonds to spare. Oh, and a new hat. We don't have a helmet, so I think I'm going to make one of them. And then maybe we'll save the rest until we can enchant. Because we're only on 21 levels at the moment. Would I be crazy though if, how do you make this? Okay, yes, I want to make a jukebox. Because I got this random music disc and I want to see what it is. Oh, it's fun. Wait, it kind of fits the island vibes. This is like the most suitable music disc for this place. But now that we're all get up, I'm gonna gather some supplies and finish decorating the enchanting setup with Drift. I quickly got derailed when I saw somebody over at the enchanting setup and it wasn't Drift. Hello? Oh, hey, Brooke. Frog, hi. How are you? Good. I. You know what's funny? I actually have that same hat in my <gasps> inventory. Oh my gosh, we can match. That's so cute. Sprouts. Sprouts. Yes. I have this oh. one. <laughs> but no, no, but look, 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 you can put it on this and then it sort of looks like a TV for your house. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. And then I, I'm, I'm using these ones because I have to drown out my thoughts. Oh, understandable. Yeah, I, I would like that too. Um, what, what, <laughs> what are you doing over here? Um, well, I saw that there was an enchantment table here and I, I mean, I finally have some levels now that I have an XP farm. Um, so I was going to put a donation in the box. I was actually, uh, maybe we could do some kind of trade. Um, are you, are you the girl with the moo blooms? I, I do have a lot of moo blooms, yes. I was really wanting a couple of moo blooms. So that could be my donation? Honestly, you can use it as much as you like if I can have moo blooms. So I grabbed some leads and went with Frog to her place to get two moo blooms. On the way, she also showed me her new XP farm. And she said soon it's going to include a hat shop built on top of it. So we'll have to come back and have a look at that. All right, let me let me breed these guys. Oh my gosh! And they make flowers, and I think the flowers over time upgrade because oh, there there was like a sunflower there now, and there never used to be. Oh, cool! Wait, wait, wait. all of you in, all of you no. in. If you're a moo bloom, except for the ones on the leads, in. Can you help me name them? I feel like this one has to be Sunny. The other one should be Moony. Sunny and Moony. Moony. <laughs> So I led the flower cows home and now they're in my bedroom. Then we're going to get straight into doing what we intended to do and decorate the enchanting setup with Drift. Mm -hmm. 
And here we have it, we decided to make it into a gazebo. We were kind of going for a very magical foresty overgrown vibe. And we've got our lapis over here for everybody. And on the other side, there's a donation bin. There was actually a lot of stuff in here, which we split between us, but this is turning into a very lucrative little business. And then of course, coming up here is the setup itself and a grindstone. And then this path connects on this side to our group campsite, just over there. And over here, I've started making a path to try connect it to my island. So we have this kind of half finished path here. We need to work on it more, but I'll chip away at that once we get more lily pads from fishing. But I think this is going to be all for today. We've get up our tools, we've got our enchanting situation going, and we have these guys who I'm going to start breeding in my house. But next time, we'll definitely get them a proper home. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to Castaways, where nine girls have been shipwrecked on a group of islands and now we seem to be stuck. There's nothing but water on every side and we literally can't make boats. For real. No boats. So we are very stuck and other than my friends, all I have for company is Wilson and some strange cows who live in my bedroom. We need to make them a home. And I think we can combine that with our other task for the day, I want to make a food shop. And I think we'll mostly sell fruits and vegetables from all of these lovely vanilla and modded crops. Like this cabbage. But to do that we're going to actually need to get more crops, so we need to make our island into farmland. This is going to be really fun, so let's start planning it out maybe with paths. So we want a good sized path coming up from our door and going to maybe our half finished bridge over here. And then we also want the path coming over this direction so that one day we can bridge over here. We're gonna need to get rid of these trees. I don't know. We have this beehive. We need to get rid of it and not move the beehive. We do not have silk touch yet, so we're gonna have to wait and do that later. We're also going through iron fast. I just made another pair of shears. Maybe it'd help if we got unbreaking on these. Oh, you have to put a book on them. Okay, well, we don't have an unbreaking book. Okay, we'll just forget about that then. And we'll just keep planning out the paths. Next, we're gonna take these orchard tree leaves and make borders around the paths. Okay, and now this is the stage we are at. Most of the island is in different little sections. I kind of love that there's all these trees here. I think we'll leave all of them, but we need to transform some of these sections into crop fields. I think definitely this one, and then this little section over here, and then we might leave this area for moo blooms. But let's just get started. First of all, digging the holes out for water. Okay, so now we have a small wheat field on this side and it is lined with rice in the water. We need to add some more of this. Maybe we should make a rice area. On this side, we have different tiers of vanilla and modded crops. So we've got tomatoes up the top and then cabbages, onions, beetroot, potatoes and carrots. Then there's a final crop section over here which is a little pumpkin patch. It's very autumnal over here. Opposite that we've got this kind of circular section. I was thinking of doing a chicken coop, but that is a later project because right now, hello snake. <laughs> Look at his little tongue, oh my gosh. Anyway, I think you are where my moo blooms might end up. I left kind of an opening here so we can go like this. And then maybe we'll use these and fences, uh, not like that, and just kind of make a little pen. Now I think we've got about six cows in our house at this point so we need to collect them and take them to their home. But first I want to name tag these two original ones. Froggy helped me name them when she gave them to me and their names are Sunny and Mooney. Okay Sunny, Mooney, let's get you all out of here. Everybody out.
So I actually logged out for a while after home in the Mooblooms and I logged back in and their enclosure looks like this. It's absolutely full of flowers. They seem to produce three different kinds. There's these tiny little ones. Then they also make dandelions and sunflowers. So I don't even think we need to decorate their enclosure because it looks kind of cool the way it is. Just absolutely full of sunshine and flowers. There is some final decor I want to add to our farms though. And the crafting recipe just requires a bunch of crops. I think we go like this. Oh, yes, it's a crate of cabbages. And we should be able to do this with every other vegetable. Oh my gosh, okay, we have two of each. There's so many options. I think we'll put, we'll put some of them in the fields. So onion. And then some of them can just go kind of anywhere. But now that we have our crops and everything sorted, I'm just going to spend some time collecting a bunch of them so we can make a shop and sell some modded food. After collecting more crops, I started to think about what we were going to need to build a shop with. I wanted white concrete, so we collected a bunch of sand for that and of course turned it into concrete. Okay, now we have white concrete for the walls, we have this calcite we can mix it with, and we have mahogany, which is this for the roof. But I kind of want to try a roof gradient. I know that red has some wood types we don't have yet, so I'm thinking that we go see her. She's online right now and living just over there. I hear sounds. Hello? <gasps> Hi! Hi! Oh my gosh, look at your little sprout hat! And you have a halo! You want to see a really funny hat I found today uh, Ooh, yeah. while I was in the mines? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so we had a little hats try on it. Basically, people on the server have been saying that Red's skin looks like it has a fried egg on her head. So she's managed to get the chicken that laid the egg and also the actual fried egg in hat form. I'm actually here to hopefully trade with you because I know you have a lot of pretty modded trees. Huh? I do, yes. Uh, which trees were you thinking of? Um, the, the light blue, the Skyrus, and you have like a light pinky Ooh, one. Yes, yes. Don't you? Yes, yeah. I have the, the Skyrus ones. Ooh. And then uh, it says it's an indigo jacaranda, but I think oh, the okay. wood type will still be the same like color. Uh, it's like the leaves that are different. Yeah. So I have the saplings of this for you, but I also have something fun that I can show you. So we have normal pumpkins, of course. But then yes. if you want to pick that up and put it in here, you can see what you can get from it. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I gave Reed the pumpkins and some saplings and completed the trade. Then we headed on our way back home. Okay, let's get some of these trees going and I want to figure out a gradient. I want to be able to do a pretty gradient with our mahogany and the jacaranda. This one. Ooh, this looks so cool. I don't think the tree really fits my autumnal island, but the wood is going to be so good. I wonder actually if this would go with jungle wood. Let's have a look. I think there's jungle trees over here. So I think we go this, this, and then this. Oh yes, that does go really well. I like it. And now we can go back to our house and gather all of our stuff together to build our shop. I also have these Skyrus saplings. They give us light blue wood. I don't think I'll use them straight away because we don't need them for the roof. What's this? A note at my door? Meet at the campsite, Sev. Uh, okay. I have a feeling I know what this is. Let's go see, though. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey. It's nice been a to while. See everyone again. Yeah. Yeah, y'all look yes. good. I've called you all here because I need to go to the nether, and I'm sure some of you oh. need too for resources and other cool stuff. Uh, I guess so. And I have yes, a studion. Okay. Doing this, guys? I have a shield. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, yes, I do too. I bet these birds are going to end up in the nether. Wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. Listen yeah, uh -huh. up. So, we don't know what's beyond there. What if no. a couple of us stay behind and a couple of people go and scope it out? Because. Okay, okay. what if I volunteer? Yeah, me too. Okay. To go? Sure, okay. Our... No, go not to go. No, to stay behind. Just, just, just to make sure, like, nothing, <laughs> nothing bad happens. You, you know? two can go first. They did not go first. Somehow it ended up being me and Red. 
Sparkle, Protect you have a spy glass. Yeah, Get in there. Come. All right, guys. No. We'll see you later. See you on the other side. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Whoa, what is this? We were on some kind of a sticky, slippery tree that looked a little bit like honey, but it wasn't. Other than maybe falling, there were no immediate dangers, so everybody else came through. There's a cool wood. What is this wood? That looks like honey. You Ember uh, gel? How do you get it's it? So I want it. Ember pedu. What is a pedu? <gasps> oh, the planks scared. are cute too. Whoa. Oh, cool. Is That's anyone allergic to pollen? Oh, I don't have my shovel. Have some pollen dust. So we kept exploring and eventually we came across a nether fortress. It was really, really big and modded and there were a lot of blazes. We saw this strange tower thing and decided to go up it. This is interesting. Wait, there's more down here? Enter the Blaze King's tower inside oh, a even... nether fortress. <sighs> Where is he? So is he just like further up? Then we encountered a bunch of blazers before finding the Blaze King boss. He's oh kind of cute. Uh, is he, oh, he's cute. He's cute. Let's see. Oh my god, he's trapped. What a loser. <laughs> he is. <laughs> no! Which one of you? What is happening? <laughs> so we'd somehow accidentally released the Blaze King. Then Sparkling fell off the tower and died, and I decided to go back up since no one was fighting this boss except zombie piglins. Oh, we need to kill it with a sword. Ah! Oh my god, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. We're gonna die. Oh, we did it. We got we did it. it. We did it. We didn't seem to get much for defeating the Blaze King, but I did get a few Blaze Rods. And after grabbing sparkly stuff and having a bit more of a look around, we had one more really good idea that we wanted to try. We were thinking maybe if we went really far away in the nether and made another portal, we'd be able to get off the island. Yeah, all right, Sev, you want to do the honors? You got the obsidian. Okay, I'm scared. This could be it, guys. We could get I'm out of here. Oh, here no. Take it out. Oh. I'll go through oh, first oh, for oh. sure. Oh my god, Drift. No, oh, now, now you want to go first. Go through, I'm going, I'm going. Now you care. I'm going first. All right, well, okay, okay, let's, let's go. go. Yep. Oh no. Uh, what? What? Oh no. Oh. What? Oh. We were so far away. Oh. How is this possible? That should have worked. That makes no sense. And even yeah, if we were like just weird. a little bit further away, it should have been. No, we were so far away. So it seems that in this strange new world, wherever we put the nether portal, we're just going to end up back here. Well, it really seems as though we're stuck here for a while longer, but luckily everything is pretty comfy for us at the moment. I made a little nether chest with some of the random items we got. This thing. This is kind of cool. This is from the boss fight tower. And we also have some blaze rods somewhere. So I think that means that we'll be able to cure zombie villagers and get, how do we break this? And get us some villagers on these islands. I would very much like mending. But right now I want to grab everything that we might need and head on over to build our shop. Oh, I also want to bring for decoration some leaves and I saw something, I'm thinking it was red left over here. So for use of mine and Drift's enchanting setup, we have this donations bin and we have all these cute leaves in it. And I think these are probably from Red's Island. Okay, I don't want to place it because I don't have shears, but look at that color. It's like kind of pinky and purple. Okay, and now I think we're not going to build our shop on our main island. We don't have a lot of space there, but I thought maybe we could build it on this island. Okay, so somewhere over here, we are really close to the campsite. So hopefully from there, people will see our shop. We could build it maybe right here on the waterfront. We'll take down some of these trees. What is that sound? Is that, is that you? Hello. You are so cute, but that sound is going to get annoying. And let's get straight into building this shop. Okay, I think we are done with the exterior. It's very hard to get a good view of this. Let me go into the ocean. This is how it's looking. It's very cottage core, very pink. I decided since we're using these leaves to really lean into the pastels. It also seemed fitting because, okay, so this is wool, but this is actually sandstone. I think we're the only person who has all these different colored sands on our island. We've got purple here and blue, and this one is pink. But yeah, this is our cute little shop. I also put all of these adorable fruit crates outside. We'll have to add some inside too. So this is two stories. 
I feel like down here we'll do a counter with kind of a checkout area. And then upstairs we can have the products. So we're going to do a bit of decorating and I'll show you when it's done. Guys, I just killed a zombie and look at what he dropped. It's a flower crown and it makes spore blossom particles. Also, the colour scheme is like exactly suited to our outfit. I think this is my favourite hat so far. Anyway, we're basically done with the interior. We just need one more thing. And that is somebody to mine to the checkout. I think Drift might know just the guy. I'm not sure where this came from, but it says, This is Nason, he is watching you. Hi Nason, would you like to work for me? Okay, I'm taking that as a yes. Let's just disassemble and reassemble you. And I guess we should leave Drift a note. Thanks for the good memories, I've gone to work for Brooke. Love, Nason. And with Nason's help, I think we're done here. So we've got Brooke's groceries open for business. Oh, we also added these adorable little veggies. And when we come in, we've got Nason at the counter and all of our stock is upstairs here. This is so cute. I love how we can use the crates and the items themselves. And then everything is in the barrels. And of course, for some form of payment downstairs, we have a trading donation box. So hopefully people will come by and use our shop. And now that we've got all these crops, I think in the next episode, we can try some modded cooking. But that'll be all for today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This is Castaway's SMP, where nine girls are stuck on a cluster of islands in the middle of nowhere and we're just trying to survive. I've been doing some diamond mining because my pants are still iron and I found heaps of diamonds. I think this was a vein of nine. But even better, I dug into this cave and look at what we found. Two glares. Okay, I'm coming back up so that I can get a lead so that I can get a glare. I think they're also tameable with glowberries, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any glowberries. We can probably get some off somebody else later on. But for now, we have one lead for one glare. That is, if I can even find where I was. I've never had such a messy strip mine before, I swear. This is chaos. Claire, I've come back for you, well, one of you. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. They're so cute, they look kind of worried. He's just a little bush with eyes. Come on, little Claire. If you guys didn't know, this was in the Minecraft mob vote a couple of years ago, I think. And he lost to the LA, but now he is a modded mob. And I love him. And you can go exactly where my homeless mushrooms were my bedroom we definitely need a name for you i think we're gonna call you shrub because you're a shrub we don't have a name tag for you but that is your name and now to focus on what we were actually meant to be doing i was gathering diamonds and we need to make some leggings and then we need to do some enchanting which means that we need to get xp which means that we need the zombie farm i believe it's over here somewhere let's head over and get some levels oh it looks like seven frog had built their shop on top of it what the heck? This is so pretty. We've got a little garden out the front. What have we got? Employees only. And on this side, we have the hat shop and I think the way down to the zombie farm. Oh my gosh, should we buy a hat? Which hat should we buy? I like that apple. Oh, I also like the bee. Although I think what's really cute about this one, oh my gosh, this is already adorable. Oh, it trips honey particles. Ooh, it makes a noise. Oh no, I'm making a mess in the shop. <laughs> There's honey everywhere. But also, I saw someone, was it Sev, do this, and oh, you can get a rainbow one. Okay, I'm going to try it and buy it. Look at me, it's so cute. Oh, I'm making such a mess. Let me go grab stuff to trade for. Okay, this is a very random collection of stuff I happen to have, which I feel like these seem a bit useless, but I know Froggy lives near a sea temple, so I don't know. Maybe she'll want to make a conduit one day? Or not? I don't know. Anyway, let's head down to the zombie farm. Look at me, I'm a bee. I kind of look like a television. And from here, this is very hard to read. You are free to farm zombies, but please do not take the hats. Sounds good to me. Ooh, babies. Once I had 32 levels, I went over to the enchanting setup and got some shiny new enchants. Okay, well, I think that's enough enchanting. Also, I found out there's another variant of this little bee hat. It's kind of hard to see. I think it's a trans flag, which slay, but it also matches my outfit, like perfectly. And saying that, the honey dripping sounds are driving me kind of crazy, so we might have to take it off for a little bit. Oh, and I didn't put the lapis back. Does anyone else always forget to put the lapis in the lapis chest? And then I have to go all the way back, and then it defeats the purpose of convenient lapis chest. 
Then when I was sitting outside my nice house enjoying a bit of a relax, Sev came by. Oh, Brooke. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're there. Hi. I didn't even see you. <laughs> I'm actually here because I heard you have green dye and I need it for my sheep. I do have green dye. I think, wait, it's not in my inventory. Come in. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure this is the only green dye on these whole islands. Oh my gosh, you have three? Wait, <laughs> so that means I can make lime dye, and I can make cyan dye, and green dye, and then we can have it on the wall. Yay! Yes. Is this, so this is for can your I sheep? Have? Yes, you yes, can. Yes, for my sheep. <gasps> Yay! I actually also brought you some wool. Oh, perfect. As that a is what I need. Then Seth told me she was actually making a wool farm, so I negotiated full access to the wool farm. And she said it's not finished yet, but we went to have a look at it. Sheep farm, oh yeah, ow. It's like an ad. <laughs> Sheep farm, open today. So, um, it's a bit unfinished. Don't, don't judge me. Okay. It's very okay. ugly. Yeah. They're on little, I love how they're on little platforms. That's so cute. Oh, nice. Okay, Ooh, lots of so orange. Much. Then I told Steve that I had a new grocery store open, so I took her to see that. Sheep farm. No, grocery store. Grocery store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Friends. We have some stock upstairs. You can take a bit of whatever you like. Since you gave me such a good deal with the wool. Can I take a rotten tomato? <laughs> yes, I don't even know what they're for, but you can take it. Let me know if you figure out what to do with it. Can I... Wait, I just threw it. Wait, it's gone. <laughs> Did it just, it's gone. It's gone. No, you just my threw tomato. it at me. I, I guess that's what you do with it. <laughs> so I parted ways with Sev and now we're much richer in wool. And with all that sorted, I'd like to get started on our main kind of project for the day. So let's start planting some trees and gathering some wood because now that we have loads of modded crops, I want to start trying some modded cooking. So we're going to build a kitchen. I also want some of these pink leaves for the build. Okay, I think we have everything and we're going to build our little kitchen on this island with our shop. Our shop sells food, so I was thinking they'll kind of go together. It'll be kind of like people could buy food and then come use the kitchen to cook for free if they want to. So we've got a similar block palette to our shop. They can be a little bit matchy and we have this diorite for the walls. Let's see, what can we do with it? Oh my gosh, these variants are so much prettier than the original. Okay, I think I want a bunch of the bricks though. We love a good brick. And if we pair that with calcite, I think, yes, that'll be nice. So I've kind of laid out how I think I might want this to go. I want it to be really open. So we're going to have kind of a big open archway as the door. Somewhere like here. And then we'll have some spruce pillars and this can be a wall. It's going to be kind of little, but I don't think it'll need to be big. Okay, so you come in here and this is the kitchen. I think this will be good. So let's build it up. And we have a cute little kitchen house. It's very matchy with the other build, but that's okay. They're on a little island together, so it's kind of cute. We've got it so it's very open plan. You can just kind of walk right in and we'll have all the kitchen stuff over here. But I also want to transform the area around it a little bit more, make this island look as good as it can. So we'll want a path of some sort going from the kitchen to the shop. And then also coming along this other side to meet up with my island. And eventually we'll bridge over there somehow. Okay, then bordering the path, we can have some of these pink leaves or pink and lavender. I'm gonna have to make more, but we can also do some little fences along here. Oh, and a lantern on it. Then we want all the pink and purple flowers. And I took down some birch trees to build, but I think we'll go get some saplings and replant them. And I almost forgot furniture. We've got these little benches. So we can make them into outdoor seating. Maybe we go like this. 
And with that, I think our island is looking way more pretty and decorated. And I've started working on the interior of our kitchen. So we have this little sign that says kitchen. And then this is not fully decorated, but this is the start of the kitchen. We've got a little island and these little cupboards. I think we can, no, we can't open them, okay. And we've got this little kitchen themed cookies painting, but I wanna add the actual kitchen supplies. So we have a knife. I think this can go on the, yes it can, on the cutting board. And then I got two of these stoves because there are two different things that we can put on them. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so we have, oh, maybe this doesn't go on it. Oh, yes it does. A skillet and a cooking pot. The cooking pot is so cute. Oh, it bubbles. And we've got an advancement, dinner served. Okay, this is adorable and it should fill all of our cooking needs. I think there's quite a few things we can cook in this pot. And the skillet might work by, I think you can put, let's give it a go. I think you put raw food in it and it cooks it. Let's see if we can find a fish. Okay, where are all the fish? Come here, little fishy. And then if we go, wait. Oh, it worked. Wait, they're all in there. Oh, this is so cute. One of them's cooked. This is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna grab a few ingredients and we'll see if we can use the big pot. Okay, I think all of this stuff should make a stuffed pumpkin. Oh, it worked. And the thing I'm most excited about is this is meant to be, oh, it's placeable. Oh, it's definitely bigger than I thought it would be. Maybe this will be our one to eat. You need a bowl. Uh, okay. Oh, cute. It's a bowl of stuffed pumpkin. Okay, how about we try roast chicken? I think we can manage that. We just need to go get a chicken and some bread. We've already got an egg and potato. Okay, I think we got everything for it. We could definitely do with a chicken coop though, because I am going to run out of eggs and chicken fast. Wait, nothing's happening. Did I do this wrong? Oh my gosh, it's a crafting table. It doesn't use a cooking pot. I am so silly. Oh my gosh, it's an actual chicken. This is way too cute. I don't want to eat it. I think shepherd's pie is also a good one. Oh, we don't have any mutton. Oh, this one looks really good. It's like a sushi plate, but it requires a lot of unusual things. This one requires cutting it on the cutting board. Okay, let's try this. One step at a time, we'll get the kelp. And then we cook some kelp, then rice, rice, carrot, kelp, kelp roll. And I have no idea how to do the next bit. Do we go like this and then, <gasps> okay. Okay, we have kelp, salmon, cod, and bowl. What does it look like? Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing. That was so much effort, but totally worth it. Okay, I kind of want to fill the kitchen with even more dishes, but we need some more of these counters to go over here. We don't have a lot of space to put things, but these are made with calcite. And after building this house, we are completely out of calcite. So I'm going to go visit Sparkle Egg because I think she's found a couple of geodes. So maybe she'll have calcite for trade. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, your hat is so cute. Oh, thank you. I like your rainbow thingy. It's very cosmic. Thank you. I was coming over because I know that you, you have amethyst geodes and calcite and I'm always in need of a bit of calcite. I've kind of run out. Yes, I do have some calcite. So I can give you a bit of calcite um, in return for me shopping at your grocery store. And then I can also show you the skeleton farm if you want me to, so you can get some bone meal. So it turned out Sparkle has a double skeleton spawner under her base. So she showed me down and said I could use it. And I also took a stack of bones with me. Then it was time to show her my grocery shop. So feel free to take anything. Like you can take a bit of everything if you want. Okay. Do you have any wheat? Wheat, of all things. Wheat. Uh, yes. That's the only thing I don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will take, I like myself a good potato, so I'll take some potatoes. The disappointment was very apparent, so I let her come over to my house and harvest some wheat. Okay, I do feel kind of bad because I know she specifically needed a lot of wheat for modded building blocks, but at least we got the calcite, so we can finish off our kitchen. So we take chests and then go like this. 
that is looking perfect and in the future I'll add some more cooked foods over here. And let's end by having some delicious pumpkin. But with our kitchen build and the subtle island transformed, I think that will be all for today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to Castaways, a server where each member has an island and we are stuck on them. Although maybe not for long, that might change quite soon. We are definitely thinking of ways that we can get off, but first of all, let's see what's been going on here. So we have this little gift, it's from Sev, Red and Drift, and I think I know what this is about. It is a mending book, yes, we definitely need that. Our tools are starting to look a bit sad, we might have to get some more of these. But the fact that we now have mending books means that they must have managed to get villagers on these islands. Presumably through curing a zombie. So let's come over to the communal area and have a catch up on whatever's been going on here. What does the notice board say? Okay, sheep farm. Or sheep farm. Okay, ooh, potion shop coming soon. And mending and unbreaking out on DVD. These are such weird ads. But ignoring that, that means that around Red's area there should be some kind of mending and unbreaking shop. Well, that building is new. Let's have a little look. Ooh, I heard villagers. Our first villagers, welcome to the Mojo Dojo Casa House. Okay. And we're greeted by some kind of zombie head and mending flame unbreaking three. <gasps> Ooh. We could do with flame and we could definitely do with some more mending. Okay, well, I didn't bring anything over to trade. I was thinking they might actually appreciate some emeralds. And emeralds are something that we could potentially give because I found my own zombie villager. So what if we converted our zombie villager, built him a house, made him into an emerald source, and then traded emeralds for the mending books? It's kind of a long list of tasks, but I think it'll be fun. Okay, but I'm going to put this right back in here, safe and sound, because before we get into that, I want to do some chaos with the girls. I found something interesting in this mob pack. Let's go see if anyone wants to try it with us. Drift. Hello. Brooke. Hi. What's up? You sound suspicious, which is kind of fitting because I need some help with something. I don't know. You haven't seen me in a couple days and now you're, you're coming over to my island all happy and stuff. Yeah. What's wrong with being happy, neighbor? I don't know. I just feel like you want something from me, but it's a little bit suspicious. I, I don't know. You just got like an air about you today. Dude, I just told you that I want something from you. And being up front, we can get some of the other girls. It'll be fun. You know what? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I appreciate honesty, so I'm down. I'm down. Okay, okay. Let's um, let's go see who's around. So next we went to Madison's house. Hello? Hi. Is that an Enderman? Wait, where? In Madison's house? Why is it in the Hi. corner? Oh my god! Oh, oh, no, 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 you really just I ran away and let me deal with the end of it. I'm sorry, you don't have anything. Wait, yeah, why I don't you have anything? Because I don't trust you. Can you go get like a sword or something, please? After getting Madison to join us, we decided to pay a visit to Red. Wow, whose house is this? I think this is a shop. It's a, yeah, oh, it's a villager kidding. shop. You have a better house than me, what the heck? Don't you be mean to yourself, come on. I'm not, they just have a really nice color palette. You have a really nice color palette. Why I did know. that sound like an insult? <laughs> it did. <laughs> it was like meant to be nice. You have. <laughs> Hi. Uh, how's it going guys? We're good. What, what you up to? Not a lot, we were just um, recruiting people to help with something. We were wondering if you wanted uh, to join. Something, uh, is there anything more specific than that? Uh, no, no, we have no idea. No, just something. Are we gonna be led over to the pit? Probably. Oh. I don't trust her. Look, the, look at her. The, What's going that on? That bow's cute, though. I like the new bow. Thank oh, you know you. what? The bow is really nice. Yeah, okay. be charmed so by cute. the bow. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll be charmed by the bow. Um, okay. <laughs> so you guys just need help with a, like a little project? Yes, yeah, just like a little a little task that okay. I thought would be fun. You know? Sure. Okay. And lastly, we stopped by Sparkling's house. Wait. What are you doing? You're, break you're, you're breaking. <laughs> hello? Uh, hello? Are you home? Uh, why are you breaking my house? I just, I thought there was a doorbell there and it wasn't working properly, so I just kind of committed to it, you know? What are you all doing here at my house? 
Sometimes. And destroying it. Okay, so, so I didn't mean to. Yeah, ignore know. ignore drift. She can just go down there. This is kind of a reoccurring thing with Drift, honestly. <laughs> she just comes here and destroys things. Oh, well, we we were just, well, I was just wanting to do something that I thought might be a bit of fun, but I need some help. So I was wondering if you could help us. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Red came prepared and oh. I don't know about anyone else. I have else. a shield. Okay, I have a sword. coconuts and a sword. So the girls still didn't know what we were doing, but I told them we needed to wait for night and get a zombie. Let's go um, to the big unclaimed island. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, oh. oh there's one behind you, Brooke. Watch <laughs> out. Oh, where? Oh, okay. Oh, oh just... what are you doing? Did you find a zombie? Yeah. Brooke. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. What on <laughs> earth what is going on? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Giant? This seems, uh, this seems not ah, as important now. Why am I in a hole? Ah. Is this a potion? What just happened? Yeah, this is a potion. <laughs> so, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is he so big? So things are a little chaotic. We realized that other than a big jump attack that the zombie can do, it can also release a ton of regular sized zombies and babies, which was very chaotic, but we were managing to get its health down. <laughs> this I is thought this was supposed to be fun. fun. They went into yeah, the ground. this is meant oh to be fun. God. I don't know. I just wanted to see okay. a giant zombie, guys. I've <laughs> never wanted to see a giant zombie. Yeah, why would dem, you want to see dem, this, bro? It's so um, big. Guys, I brought a bed if you want to set your spawn. It's nearly dead. Over here. Over, over oh, here. Guys, I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm the hero today. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh, God. oh no. No, no. You're fine. You're fine. We did it. <gasps> So if you can't tell what that was, I got stuck in a creeper hole with the zombie and I died, but we also defeated the zombie in the same moment. Look at these boots, Brooke. These were from the the giant. Ooh. Oh, they're fancy. So come over to this cow and try to jump on him. Here. <gasps> See? Whoa. That is so cool. Yeah. I wonder if we find like other mobs that do that, if we'd get like a whole set eventually by like Ooh. fighting different Ooh. ones. So we formed an informal fighting club and decided to share the boots around the group. They were called Giant Stompers, so it was the Sisterhood of the Giant Stompers. So what are we naming it? Sisterhood of the Giant Stompers? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we can it be that long? I think one so. Way to find out. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Did it work? Named. You know, it's pretty wild that they all fit us. Like, pretty much perfectly. Like, I got some pretty yeah. small feet. Yeah, my yeah. feet are massive. Yeah, yeah I so, mean, like, that's those wild. Those giant toes. Well, that was really fun, and I may have had karma come for me, dying after putting everybody in danger. But hey, we got some fun boots. The Sisterhood of the Giant Stompers, and it is our turn with them first. So I suppose that we'd better wear them for this episode and then pass them on to one of the other girls, since that is how the Sisterhood will be working. Okay, but wait, I have to do this one more time. I'm sorry, cow. Woo! <laughs> Why is that so fun? And they even have feather falling on them, which is going to be very helpful for building today, because our normal boots do not have that. But speaking of building, I think it's time we gave our zombie villager who is in this dirt hut a real house. If I go into free cam, I can show you. Here he is. He's got a little item frame so he doesn't despawn. But this dirt hut is an ugly growth on the side of my house and I want an emerald source. So I was thinking of making him a house of his own down here. Kind of on this bit of grass and then going into the water. Since we don't have a whole lot of land space. So I've set up some of the supplies here, but I think I want to build with slightly different roof colors this time. We've been going for the pinks and the purples, but it's time to change it up. Maybe we go Skyrus? Okay, this is super pretty and I know exactly what we can mix it with too. I'm thinking Prismarine. If we go over this way, just off the coast of the big jungle in Dark Oak Island over here, there is a sea temple. Apparently Froggy is in the process of making a guardian farm. Well, she's made it, it might just need decorating still. Oh! <gasps> Did I just jump on you? Oh my gosh, these boots are crazy. Okay, now this is just tempting. Wee! <gasps> so high up! Okay, this is Froggy's house. She's not online right now. She's actually streaming, so we will not bother her. But this looks like a guardian farm to me. Let's see if we can go over there without dying. Oh, there are guardians. Oh! It's hitting me. Ow. Oh. oh my gosh, there's so much prismarine. 
But if we want the prismarine bricks, I think we just need to go like this. So we only need a few of the shards. I'll just take 43 right now and we'll give her some stuff at her base. I gave her mahogany because I don't think she has the saplings yet and I gave her spider's eyes because I know she's after those. I guess for potions, oh there's a wandering trader. And when you are stranded on islands, these guys can actually be useful. Cactus, we don't have cactus. Oh, lament sapling. Okay, we can only get one thing, it's gonna be this. We love a new tree type. And now we have one emerald. This is exactly why we need an emerald source. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay, that is a cool leaf color. It'll go with our mahogany. What is this? Ooh, lament. It's so pretty. Oh, now I kind of want to build a roof out of this, but we just got the Skyrus and Prismarine. So we'll use that for this one. And with that, we are ready to come back down here and build this villager house. I have started plotting it out a little bit with these little path blocks. So I think this is where the building will start and we'll do the doorway maybe here or here. Then if we come forward by three, and then do another little bit coming out here. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some dirt or something. And then do a little balcony out the front. And I think we're done. Look how cute it looks. It's like a cute little cottage on the beach. Or well, I guess this is more of a river. Although, of course, while this is the front, the main entrance will be at the back. So coming at it from our island. And I have done a little bit of basic decorating on the inside. So if we come in here, it's all set up for a villager to live in this area. We've got a little storage area and crafting table for us. And then in here... We have a cute little bedroom. This is a sheep plushie that somebody traded for in my shop. So hopefully our villager will love it and I've decided he is going to be a Fletcher. And then we've got this villager proof door out to the front. But I think that we should go and get him and bring him in while he's still a zombie. I think that'll be the easiest way to make sure he actually follows us. So we'll just have to wait for night so he doesn't burn and then we can lead him over. Okay, I think this is it. Now is our time. I'm very scared that a creeper will spawn and blow us up because our island is not spawn proof. Come on, we need to go quick. Okay, nothing spawned. We are good. Yay, he's all safe and sound in there. Now, in order to cure him, we're going to need a spider's eye for the weakness potion. So we need to not sleep. I'm not seeing any spiders though. Ah, creeper. No, 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 no. There's one here. We don't have looting, so we might not get it. No, just string. Oh, here we go. Oh, I dropped it. Oh my gosh. Baby zombie and a witch. Ooh. Get me out of here. Okay, we got the eye. We also got a spider head. Am I not the cutest spider? Hello, are you ready, Sir Fletcher? And again, we wait. And he's a human. I know that we could have made him a farmer because we do have some crops, but most of them are modded crops, which we cannot trade. So I was thinking of trying a Fletcher for once, but we will lock in his trades and start getting emeralds next time. For now, I want to end the episode by delivering the traveling boots. We'll go with Red. I feel like she might be filming an episode soon. Okay, I bestow upon their sister the traveling giant stompers. And that does mark the end of this video, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Welcome back to Castaways, where we are all stuck on deserted islands. Or are we? For long. That is a hint at something a little later in the video, but for now let's check on our very first villager. Hello Mr. Fletcher, we got this guy last time and I still haven't locked in his trades. So I think we should do that and get some of our first emeralds from him. I planted some dark oak trees around so we can convert these logs into sticks and then use the sticks to get emeralds off the Fletcher. It is a perfect plan. Aside from dark oak, I also planted some of these pretty pink wood trees around to get the logs from them. 
These are not so much for the stick trade, but more for building and decorating, which we will do a little bit of soon. Okay, let's see how many sticks this makes so and what we can get out of it from our Fletcher. Over three stacks, over four stacks. And what? Our Fletcher's lost his job. Can you maybe go over to your job block? Please, sir, just go over there and take your job. Thank you. 27, is that good? We might reroll. I'm not sure what is good for a Fletcher. Okay, maybe it's just always 27. And his upgrades are not very interesting. Well, so far we got 18 emeralds off you. And the purpose of these emeralds is basically for wandering traders. Because when you're stuck on islands, wandering traders are actually useful and they bring you some pretty good stuff. But then the other purpose is that I wanted to use these emeralds to buy some more mending books. We have one so far and our tools are definitely going to need mending. So we'll go over to this shop over here which sells unbreaking and mending and we'll get a couple. This shop is so pretty. I wish we had this blue wood in vanilla Minecraft. Um, did I just say, oh my gosh, this is such a coincidence, a wandering trader. Uh, redwood, seeker, and maple. Some of them require a lot of saplings. I might just get one of these. I don't know if it's new to us, but oh well. And here we can pay for a couple of mending and unbreaking books. Mending, flame, unbreaking three. I think for now I want an unbreaking and two mending. Why do I hear the villagers? Do they live? Oh, they live up here. Why are you shirtless? Is he naked under his job clothes? I'm just gonna go now. Let's see what our maple sapling grows into and we'll put the books on our tools. Oh, I think someone already has this tree, but I know I don't. It's very silvery, gray. Honestly, I don't think I'll be using this one, but it's good to have. Maybe someone else would like it. And of course, it's a pain to cut down. Oh, it can go towards our stick trades. Then we can put the books on the tools. And lastly, we can do a little bit of healing them up at one of the mob farms. And now, as you can see in the hotbar, we have all new shiny tools. Nothing is dying on us except maybe the sword. But we added unbreaking, so that should be fine too. But now that that's sorted, I want to work on our area a little bit more here. We've got a few little buildings. We have our house over there and our villager house here. We've got our moo blooms and then our island next to this. So this one over here, which is also our island, and we have our shop and kitchen. But there's a couple of little things and projects I've been meaning to do for a while around here. One of them is deal with this space right here, and I think I want it to be a chicken coop. Chicken feathers are very useful and modded. Oh, and so are eggs, we'll be able to cook with them. So today I really want to get chickens. And then the other thing I want to do is make some more bridges like this. So at the moment we've got this one, which helps us bridge over to the enchanting setup over here. So we don't have to swim, which is always good. But our island here and our island there are not connected to each other. And this is not connected to anything. So for paths and bridges, let's make a bunch of cute modded leaves. And we can use them to do some bridging. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, we'll also use leaves from these saplings. They come out kind of this color. And then the birch leaves, if we put them in here. Oh, magenta flower birch leaves. We can make these. They're so pretty. Okay, so bridging to this island. This island's very pink themed, so I think this will make sense. These leaves with this and these and the leaves from this. So now I cleaned up the path seeds aside a little bit as well and I also added lanterns both for practical purposes and because it's very cute. And then over here I added a whole nother path going to our campsite spawn island so that if people are over here they can easily come over to our shop. It's kind of opposite the kitchen instead of the shop and with that done now let's work on our chicken coop. Okay we'll start by getting the coop in and then we'll worry about getting chickens. So I'm thinking of having a fenced area and then a little indoor shelter for them. We have these, oh they don't connect with the fences. Okay, we won't be doing that. That's kind of cute though, this is wicked oak planks. And then here we go for a little chicken building. And we'll do it kind of elevated from the ground. I 
looks like something. I think with an A-frame roof, this will be cute. Let's uh, do that. And a little update, I've been adding a few decorations, so I think the chicken coop is done. It's come out looking very autumnal, but I really like it. Nice and simple, we have a gate here, a little outdoor area, and the indoor area. Which I don't think, yeah, I can't actually get in this. But that's okay, as long as the chickens can. Speaking of chickens, it's kind of the only thing that's missing here. Let's see, I think we have a few eggs, so that can be plan A. Oh, okay, we've got 16. And then if they don't hatch, I don't know how we're going to do this. Let's give this a go, we just need two at least. Oh my gosh, come on! Oh, is our luck really that bad? No! 16 and we didn't get a single chicken. I thought the chances are at least 10% or something. I don't really know though. Okay, I have a plan B though. So if we come over to neighbor Drift's house, she actually has a lot of chickens, so we can take some of her eggs. Oh my gosh, 16, 16, and 6. Okay, if this isn't enough, I don't know what will be. Oh, we got one. Wait, no! I didn't know they could get over the trapdoors. Okay, we might have to recover that chicken. But let's keep trying. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting them. <gasps> four. Okay, we have four chickens and one outside. Next, we can just grab some seeds and start breeding them. So the chickens have grown up, I've started breeding them, and I've started using their feathers to make cool things. Specifically, I made these beds which are quite a process. You have to use feathers to make cushions and sheets. But, okay, this is white, but I think we can make it even cuter by applying this. Oh my gosh. It puts a little heart on it too. That is so cute. Okay, I'm obsessed with this bed. And when you break it, it becomes its components again. That's kind of interesting. I think we'll dye one more sheet and blanket so we can have a double pink bed. So we go like this, and then the pillows, and the sheets. Isn't that so cute? That is adorable. So that is our chicken situation sorted, but after logging back in, I noticed something that wasn't here before. It would appear I have a letterbox. And no, I didn't put this here. Let's see. Museum now open. Museum open, located on Sparkles Island, donations welcome. Please bring one item to represent your island, place it on a pillar or in an item frame. Okay. An item to represent this place, and I think it'd be cutest if it was a placeable item we could put on a pillar. So crops, maybe we'd kind of have to put the dirt block on though. We have our moo blooms, they're not really placeable items. We do have a cute pumpkin patch, and we've been doing a lot of cooking. Maybe we could do like a pumpkin dish. We've got these little stuffed pumpkins that's definitely placeable and it looks really cute. Also, our first friend Wilson is a pumpkin. We'll pop over to the kitchen, make another one, and then go to Sparkers Island. So off we went to Sparkleg's beautiful new museum. And after donating our little stuffed pumpkin, I did check out the downstairs, which had these adorable animal exhibits. There were snails and lizards, and then on the other side there was a cute little aquarium. Then while we were on Sparkles Island, a few of the girls were having drinks at her tiki bar, so I decided to join them. Sparkle, hit me with a drink. Well, I've got some seawater. Unfortunately, that's kind of all oh. we have here. Oh. oh. Yeah. Wait, Wait like, is it purified? Yeah, we have Pina yet. Coladas. No, it's just salty, oh. salty water. Oh. I'm so not sorry. gonna drink that. I actually oh. have high. Here, I'll, I'll still drink it. Oh, wait, wait, here. guys, what is that in the water over there? Wait. Is it oh, is that a oh. human? <gasps> there's a person. Yeah, oh. there's someone on a boat. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Do we know this person? I don't. Uh, no, hi. Who are you? Hi. Hi, um, I'm Allie. That's a yeah. boat. Guys, it's that's a boat. boat. Where, where did you come from? Um, well, I was trying to find my deserted island getaway package with those two little raccoon guys, and I got really lost, and when did we all become squares? Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, um, what? Uh, what? Uh, oh, I'm so lost. I'm in the wrong game entirely. How did I get here? How did you guys get here? We've been here for a while, unfortunately. We've always I I was born here. Is mm -hmm. this person okay? I don't know. No, maybe she's been at sea too long. We decided to move on from this confusion and ask her how she got her boat. 
It turned out she just crafted it, so I gave her the supplies, but she couldn't seem to craft another one. I guess this place is just cursed and nobody can craft boats here. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can use my boat. I have my little wingies really? on my back. Yes? Oh. We would love that. Yeah. Please. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll find I'll a way out, guys. She gave us a boat, but then insisted on heading out, so we bid her farewell, but now we have this boat. So we did what we do about everything and held a meeting. Guys, it's uh, been like a couple days and we still haven't really figured out what we're going to do with that boat. Yeah, I mean, only two people can fit in it, which is kind of a problem. Yeah. I don't think that's really a problem. Two people can just leave. And that's just, not fair, uh, though. Oh, wait, that's not wait. fair. What about the rest of us? We're all just stuck here. I mean, everyone's really enjoying their yeah, life here. I didn't say I was going to leave. What if we take turns using the boat and we can see if we can find oh. help or more stuff and bring it back to each other? That's smart. Yeah, I like yeah, that, that idea. idea. Okay, so we need to keep it somewhere where, I mean, I guess just here works for now. And we can just kind of pair up and take turns leaving and bring back what we can. So we all seem to be in agreement and we left the boat at the campsite. That is exciting though. We're going to get to explore beyond here. Like, what's over there? We're going to find out. I mean, unless it's just ocean forever. I really hope it's not just ocean forever. But maybe next episode we can partner up with somebody and go on a little adventure. But I think that'll be all for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Welcome to Castaways, where nine of us are stuck on deserted islands. Well, we were completely stuck until last episode. Let me show you what we got. So we're unable to craft boats here, but this is our first boat that we got. It was given to us by a stranger sailing past, but now it means we can leave the islands. Kind of, at least. There's nine of us in only one boat. But at least we can take turns using the boat and see what's around us. So we'll definitely invite a friend to go exploring soon, but in the meantime, oh, what is this? Also, if I sound nasally, I'm sorry, I'm recovering from being sick. But what is this? Oh, ice cream for sale. More flavors coming soon. Oh, cactus popsicle. That sounds odd. Coconut popsicle. Cute. We'll have one of them, and I don't think there's a separate area for donations. We can just put this in here. Oh, and the weather. No, this weather is not the vibe for eating a popsicle. Well, we'll just do it anyway. And I hear a drowned. This is so not the vibes. Well, the effort was there. We tried to have a cute moment. So you're kind of wrecking this. Okay, now it's a full on thunderstorm. This is silly. Okay, so we are well into autumn and it's nearly Halloween. So I want to do some seasonal decorating. And to get into the mood more, let's start with our outfit. We'll do a cute little Halloween costume. Ta-da! We're bringing back the spider head. I am just a cute little spooky spider with a bow. Now let's do some decorating. I think for decor we'll go less spooky, more autumnal. Let's maybe get some pumpkins and make some jack-o'-lanterns. Then maybe we can also hang some banners around in autumnal colours. We have free use of Sev's wool farm, although she also has a little shop over here. Ooh, I haven't really looked at this yet, but it's so cute with the plushies. Okay, the finest wool for all your decoration needs. I think orange is a good colour. And I know she enjoys a rotten tomatoes for some reason, so there you go, Sev. Now, I think if we make a normal jack-o'-lantern, then we can take it to a botanist's workbench and make it look different. What is this one? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's like a really big smile. What else? We could do bad time. Oh, this one's cute too. Okay, we're going to have to place these all around our island. Okay, these are so cute. But now let's find a spot for our banners between the trees. We actually don't have many. I forgot how much wool it takes to make a banner. It's very resource heavy. But I'm sure we can make something kind of cute here. And then I got a couple of red ones as well as orange. Oh, maybe one between this house and the tree. And then we'll hang lanterns and leaves off these two. For lanterns, I know there's a workbench that you can put normal lanterns into and it makes modded ones. And I want to try that out, I just don't have the workbench and I'm not sure what it is. But I think Sev has it. Oh, like these. These are pretty. Maybe we can make some of them. Okay, surely it'll be in here. Oh, what's this? I don't have this one. Is this it? It is! What can we make? I kind of like the look of these. The ones that we just saw. 
Oh, yes, those are cute. Those look good hanging. Should we test out any others just in case? What's this? It's very little. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. I think the colors of the other one are a bit better though. Here we go. These are cute. I like them. Okay, but I was thinking while we're here of maybe dropping off some stuff to other people. We have heaps of extra pumpkins so we could give everybody a different jack-o'-lantern. And then maybe make them a cozy treat. I was thinking an apple pie, maybe? We just need milk. And then I think it's just wheat apples and sugar, which we can do easy. Let's see. Okay, we start with pie crust and then apple pie. Okay, let's try placing it at drifts. I think these are placeable. Yes, they are. They're so cute. I'm not going to take a piece, but I assume you eat it like a cake. But let's drop them off to everybody else. Here we go. Oh, are you home? Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, my. You're, uh, you're, oh. you got a nice little mask on. It's my Halloween outfit. I'm a little spider. There's our apple pie. You can eat it like a cake. Actually, I'm hungry now. <gasps> whoa, Ooh. whoa, I'm speedy. Whoa, that's <laughs> so cool. Oh my gosh. Are those <gasps> the giant stompers you're wearing oh, as well? Yes, I do have them. I got your little gift. I've been wearing them and they've been super fun. Okay, I was putting up a sign over at spawn and I looked into the center and there was a boat there did you know we got a boat like where did that come from i thought we couldn't make them uh yeah i did know we got a boat um you missed out uh, on drinks with the girls the other day we we found a stranger and they oh. they had a boat wait I, another human not, yeah not that, us yeah not us <gasps> have you used the boat yet <gasps> no but i i want to do you want to should we go do you want to go somewhere i don't know where yeah. we go but i don't know either uh, but let's explore okay just the smell of the wood, just it, it's right. something we haven't smelled for so long. Just sitting in it just, is like beautiful. Wow, Love this it. just feels so good, but also so foreign. And so off we went, adventuring beyond the islands. I wonder, oh, there looks like something was to the left, some There's land. <gasps> and in front of us. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. oh my gosh. Oh, this is so exciting. Land. Land hole. Ooh. Oh, wait. Do you see these trees over in the distance? These the really big tall, red ones? Spiky ones? Yeah, they look cool. Let's yeah. go there. Whoa. Oh, there's new flowers. Look at all of these. They're cute. Oh my gosh. These are cute. What are these? Coven. Yeah. Pink coven. Crocus. Oh, there's spruce over there. Like normal <gasps> spruce. Like normal spruce. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> what is this? Four in a row. What on earth is this? <gasps> kind of concerned that this is going to have like a bunch of bad guys in it. Yeah. But maybe they're friendly. Maybe. I feel like it's going to have baddies. So we made sure to be safe and set our spawn and leave the boat before heading in. Wait, is that a piglin? Yeah. Hello. My guy. Oh, gosh. Okay. <gasps> oh, my gosh. There's like raw blocks of iron <gasps> and gold Ooh. in here. Get up. And cute things. I'm just like going in from the back just to oh, be a oh, little safer. There's a little guy. Getting them. Oh, look out. Okay, okay let's I'm gonna just turn off this. Oh, oh, yeah. I got the spawner. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Yay! Oh, there's a guy up there in this middle thing. Yes. Be careful. He has a gold Gotta get sword him. too. Oh, wait. Oh. He took fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too easy. Interesting. These are pretty hefty guys. Yeah. Oh, inside the chests uh, and barrels, there's items. Ooh. There's like extra lecterns. There's just like rooms all around. This is cool. I don't know why I'm like collecting the raw iron blocks. I we literally have an iron farm now. <laughs> yeah, I just got an iron block too. What is this? This is cute. Look. Yeah, They're I so found cute. one of those too. They're like so it. cute. And there's these book player heads too over here on this desk. I already grabbed some of those. One. Aren't they cute? Yes. They feel so cute. Actually, I want the spore blossom too. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, get. Oh, oh, be oh, careful. oh, I'm stuck in the house with him. Nope, I'm running away. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. 
no! Okay. I uh, spawned by our little bed. I'm okay. fine. Yay! Oh, there's two of them. I swear there. Oh, there's a spawner. I got a spawner. Oh, my helmet broke. Oh, That's I might good. die. Ah! <gasps> no! no! <laughs> Gonna get my stops. Oh. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> I just died. <laughs> Why? <laughs> wow! Oh, so why are the pillagers? No! <laughs> Eventually, we made it up to the very top of the mushroom where there was this strange little message. If you walk with the fungus, you'll never be out of spores. And with a couple of new hats, our mission was done. We were two angels coming to save or perhaps pillage towns, depending on how you look at it. We then decided to grab some regular spruce and then head back to our islands. Well, at least now we know what's lurking outside and it's it's mostly danger. Yeah, no kidding. That was uh, quite the interesting adventure. <laughs> um, finding player heads and uh, piglin brutes that lived in mushrooms. Nothing useful in that direction. <laughs> nope, yep, d not going there again. <laughs> nope. Well, we got some cool stuff at least. We got a spore blossom and all these pretty flowers. And all these decorative blocks, we got this wood as well, and also some regular spruce. We'll put this spore blossom up here and decorate with some of our flowers. Okay, yes, that is a perfect spot. That is so pretty. And these can go, I don't know, anywhere. But I also want to continue with our pumpkin decorating. I kind of want to collect all the different pumpkins now. Because look at all of this. There's so many different colors. What else have we got? This teal. All the pastels. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like baby pastel colors. I don't really know what to do with all of these though, so maybe we need a spot to put them. Like a pumpkin collection house? I've been meaning to build more out onto the water, so maybe we could do something here where we kind of attach this platform to another platform. And then we can do a building kind of here next to our house and it can join up with this path. Because currently this path just leads to nothing. I think we've got most of the supplies to build, although I might like some more of this new wood. I don't know why this tree grows so big. Usually these trees are kind of small, but this one went huge. And it has glow lights, which could be kind of useful. But we'll get some of these pretty logs. They're kind of Halloween-y. And we'll also make sure to have some kind of orange or maybe even some actual pumpkins in the build. Just so it really says, this is my pumpkin collection. And I think now we have everything to build this house. I've already been working on a little platform so we can put it right here. And of course it all connects to our starter house. But let's get building it. Okay, I think this came out cute. It's got the Halloween-y colors without being too obvious. So it still fits in with our starter house and the rest of our island. And as well as the front entrance, of course, we have the side entrance too. But if we come in here, we just have a bare room so far. But I was thinking of doing maybe two rows of shelves. So something like this. Maybe we don't need that one. And then along here. And then we might actually change out the floor and try spruce and then we'll add all the pumpkins. Starting with a normal one and we'll kind of go along in rainbow order. Should we have a gap between them? I don't know if there's going to be room for a gap. And we are all done, our collection is complete. If we go inside, we have our shelves of all of our pumpkins and all of the cute faces. And with this very fitting color scheme, and on this side, this is supposed to be like a giant pumpkin that's part of the collection. But here we have it, it's very pointless, but very cute and seasonal. But I think that will be all for today, I'm gonna go give my voice a rest because it seems to be getting worse. But I hope you guys didn't mind it too much, and I will see you in the next video. Welcome to Castaway's SMP, where we have been trapped on an island with no way out. We can't even craft boats to leave. It just kind of doesn't work. But this is my island that I've set up in the meantime so that we can survive. 
Recently, we actually did get one boat. It lives over here because we have to share it between nine of us. So we can't exactly all get in and go home. But okay, I really want to get off these islands and it seems so far the only luck we've had is that one boat which was from a stranger we saw in the distance. They were sailing way out at sea so maybe if we build something we might have better visibility. I'm thinking we make some kind of tower where we can go up it and look for people offshore. Our island is pretty full, we need to do it somewhere with a good view out to sea so maybe in these rocks over here. That kind of has a good like 180 degree view. Okay, I think we'll do that. We just need to flatten a little bit. Also, I love this hat, but the honey sounds are kind of driving me crazy. I think it's gotta go. We could just go with a nice inoffensive apple instead. <gasps> yes, this is cute. Okay, let's try to get the base of this tower going though. We'll start with a stone brick and we'll just make kind of a circular shape. Okay, this placement will be perfect. We can move some of the bushes and have a path going right to a door. And now that I've built up the base, I definitely want some vines and leaves to help cover it. Just for a bit of texture and to make it more overgrown and cute. Maybe this can be like a garden themed tower. But I'm out of vines so we need our shears and we are going to the jungle island over here. Okay, wow, this is perfect. And then from here we can make lots of cute modded vines. Vines acquired, I think we'll make most of the rest of the tower out of white blocks because that's kind of what we've been doing with every build here. So it'll be all white and we'll go for spruce, maybe skyrus trim. I love the skyrus wood, it's this. So we'll collect everything we need and set it all up to build. Oh and we need to pick a vine type at the bottom of this bench. So this goes in here and oh I don't think we've used this one but I think it'll go really nicely. Yes I like it. It makes me think of little rosebuds. Okay, I think this will be good. We're ready to build our kind of garden themed tower. So let's get going. And our tower is done, at least from the outside, and we have our little area at the top so we can see it far out into the sea. I also made it this little path connecting which is super cute and we can come inside and there's nothing in here. It's just a big ugly interior but we can work with that. I'm thinking we just do a ladder going up and then we'll have a couple of floors. Made out of, um, we might need some more spruce actually. So I'll go get that really quick but I'm not sure what to actually do for the interior either. It's not going to be for anybody, so it doesn't need to be a house. All I can think of really is some extra storage for all of our shop stock and gardening needs. I feel like that is probably the most practical use. Okay, but let's try this again. We'll go up until here and then add another floor. Okay, perfect. And then actually let's go like this and then we can keep going up until we get all the way to the top. And now we have three different floors going up, including the top of the tower. This one is very small, but I'm going to go ahead and add some little decorations. And all done. I did end up going with the idea of crops and garden storage, so it's just kind of chaotic in here. But there is a practical use. This can be actual storage for overflow for our shop. So we've got more up here. This little area is very cramped, but what we can do when we're out of stock, I think we're out of potatoes actually is we can pick up some potato crates and move these. Then we can turn them into actual potatoes and put them in the shop. I might do one or two more. So now we'll go over to our shop and add those, but it makes it kind of practical. And then of course, there's the actual tower aspect where we can look out for anybody sailing by and we can hope they have helped to get off the island. So this is kind of a pathetic race dog, but I'm gonna spend the next little while up the tower. Well, so far no luck. All I've seen is dolphins and fish and I'm getting a little bit bored. Maybe let's take a break. Drift. Brooke? Hi. What's up? Um, nothing. What's up with you? I'm bored. Okay, well, I mean, it looks like you've got a lot of stuff over there. Are you sure you just don't want to be bored back at like your base or? Uh, no, I'd rather be bored in here. Um, 
I was kind of in the middle of something, but I guess if you want to make yourself at home, fine. What do you want to eat? Spaghetti. I don't have spaghetti. What else? What, what do you have? I, I have steak. Okay. Ground steak. I'll have a steak. Thank you. Okay. I guess I'll see you later then, eh? Uh, sure. I'll just go take a nap. And a short while later, I realized I've been visiting Drift quite a lot over these weeks. Hello. Oh. Oh, it's you again. Those eyes. I'd just like to address the fact that you kind of just smell like seaweed all the time that I see you because you're constantly having to swim to and from our place. And it's it's starting to smell kind of gross. Oh, yeah. You know, I was thinking about that, too, and I'm kind of sick of swimming here. Oh, well, I mean, you could just stay over there if you want, you know? Uh, I don't think that's an option. We should um, build a bridge, and then I can come here all the time. <sighs> Fine, let's build the bridge. So we got to work on an overgrown looking bridge using a spruce, willow wood, and stone. And here it is all finished, the Bridge of Friendship. How cute. We actually have a sign on it that says the Friendship Bridge. Here we go, the Friendship Bridge, and this is going to be so much nicer to visit Drift than swimming. And then we can go straight over to her house to get some steak or be annoying or whatever. Wait, hold on, I just saw this. Danger ahead. Okay, rude. But now that we've built a bridge, we've built a tower, we've tried looking out for anybody who can help us. And so far we haven't succeeded, I'm kind of at a loss for what to do. We have all taken the one boat off the island to try and find help, and no luck so far. But to be fair, I haven't travelled super far away, so maybe we should try again. I think we're gonna go on an adventure and see if we can find enough boats for everyone or something. We'll see how we go, I definitely want to travel further than last time though. The first thing we came across was this crazy terrain. There were so many glowberries and moss and spore blossoms, kind of like an ocean lush cave. Then I saw this sunken ship, but it didn't have much except this eye patch. I guess now we're a pirate. Then I saw this absolutely insane building, but I think some of the girls have already looted it. So we went on through the mesa and then this strange scrubby desert. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, don't die! No! That is like the third time I've seen a tortoise or lizard do that. Oh, ow. And now it's my turn. Also, what is this? It kind of just looks like a drowned drone, but on land. So that's probably what it is. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's a chest. With nothing good in it. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully we can get out of this cactus biome. Flowering a barrel cactus? Wait, this is so cute. It won't really suit my island, but I want it anyway. Oh, what's that ahead? Is it- ow, ow, oh my gosh. You know, I hate this. We're getting back in the ocean. Oh, well, we found a village. I know Seif needs a bunch of wheat so we can get that while we're here. What is this? Actually, what is this? Oh, uh, okay. Wait, am I meant to? I don't understand. A waystone? Whoa, it's so pretty, look at the eye. But wait, I haven't really used waystones before and I don't understand, oh. Wait, hello. Okay, I definitely don't get how waystones work, but I'm pretty sure they're for teleporting. We will need more than one though, cause you teleport between them. So we need at least two. Nothing in here. <gasps> Hold on. Oh my gosh, could this be a way out? So this is Kakasabu and we can teleport. <gasps> We can teleport between them. This is literally the answer. We can go home. And it's even better than that because we'll be able to teleport back to the island whenever. I'll see if I can find any more of these. Oh, there's two more. I ended up finding more than enough for all of the girls. But now we've definitely got to go straight home and call a meeting and tell the girls. I can't believe this could be it. Okay, so guys, I've called this meeting because I went offshore and I found something that I think will get us off the islands. Oh. It's this. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. What is that? 
Oh, I think we can use it to teleport. I can give it a go and show you guys if you like. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, she's gone. Oh my she's gone. Where'd she go? She, she left us. Oh, oh my gosh, she's, oh, she's back. back. I'm she's back. back. Oh my gosh. Where'd Where'd she go? You should be you able okay? to use it as well. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's great. It just takes a level. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, what? oh, oh. Wait. Where do we go? Whoa. I want to try. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, oh is this a way that we can maybe get back home, you think? Yeah, I think from the village that this teleports us to, we should all be able to, like, kind of go in our own directions and find home. Oh my wow. gosh, we can oh go. Oh. Trip, did you get After one? all this time. Ooh. This yeah. is this is huge, guys. Not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna miss this place a little bit. I don't know how to wait, quite oh, feel. I'm not gonna miss it. Let's go. Let's go right now. <laughs> no. Wait, no, wait, wait, hold on. Guys. No, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Wait. Wow. Well, wow. That's Froggy, one. where yeah. are you? Come back. Oh, Yay. Oh, <laughs> Before, like, if we all decide to go our own separate ways, don't you think we should just have, like, a proper goodbye? This place has been home to us for a while. Yeah, yeah. that would yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah for like sure. That. We could celebrate. Well, Sleepover? I think we're all gonna miss it here, so maybe we could come back on holiday one day? All together? Oh, yeah. that would be so yeah. That would be fun. so nice. I actually yeah. want to just say one thing, if we're gonna come back here. Now, I've been thinking this for a while. Some of us need to learn about soap while we're off the islands, okay? Yeah, I have a smelly neighbor too. Drift has been <laughs> wearing be Crocs, me. like the same ones and the same socks, and mm. it stinks so bad. Girl, that girl, you true. don't even have socks was, on. So you have foot fungus. It's disgusting. Foot fungus talk aside, we decided to celebrate our last night, a festival by going to Drift's new restaurant where we had burgers and then we went off to Sev's new hotel where we had cocktails and a sleepover. Also, there was a lot of this. Oh, 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 oh. I need punching. Oh. Someone, oh. Yeah, touch me. I need to drink. Oh, touch me. Yeah. I want ice cream. Drink slaps. Drink slaps. Drink slaps. Drink slaps. We can sit on the roof. Can you punch me so I can drink this? Oh, sure. Tell okay. me when to stop. This drink made me too. I'll never me. want you to stop. Oh. Uh, Ooh, okay. luck. <laughs> okay. Then the rest of the girls joined us, sitting on the roof to stargaze for our final night together. And so that is it, it is time to say goodbye and go home. Also, I just got this bread hat off a random monster, and I'm so sad it's the end because I want to wear this hat more. But let's have a final little look around the islands before we teleport our way out and find our way home. Of course, we have our own islands here, looking lovely, looking very cute. There's our main one and our kind of shops island through there. But we'll also go around and show a quick shot of how everybody else has turned out. A couple of people might still be building, but for the most part, they are done. So here's a fun little montage. And now all that's really left to do is go home. It's a little bit cramped, but I've set up our own little waystone at the top of our tower, and we've got our Glare who can look after our mushrooms and our villager, but if we teleport to the desert village, I'm sure from there we can make our way home. And here we are, the long journey begins. Finally, home sweet home. That was quite the adventure.